Hi friends, welcome back to Bahu Automation Lab once again. In the last video session, we have already seen uh, Chrome option related concepts. Okay. In this video, let's understand one very interesting concept related to the Chrome um, options. Okay. So watch this video very carefully. In this video, we have learned how to execute uh, or run your, our Selenium script on an already open or existing browser session. Okay. For example, uh, let's say uh, I have opened the uh, automation lab.com uh, automation lab .in website in browser here. Okay. And uh, what happened? Na? Uh, I have login here using the registered link and I have using my login ID and password. Okay. Next time I don't want to log in again and again. Okay. So if you write a script here to log in or click on this window and uh, registered link after that, you need required to enter username and password and everything. But here, if you have a client requirement like that, we have to work on the existing login session of this website. So, okay. For example, if I log in with this account already and after that I need to click on, uh, let's say here is a tutorial. Here is the my account section after we have login, right? So we have to click on the my account section or any uh, practice page or any page that time what happened uh, so we have to every time log in and uh, then click on that session but the client requirement is here is that we have we don't need to log in again and again into your session we have to work on the same session okay so this is not at all recommended into the press sessions but if you have this type of requirement by the client so that we need to work on mm, this type of requirement if you not need to log in again and again in the your script so this is the very interesting concept how to open uh, how to run your script uh, on the already open browser and uh, browsers same session or the existing login session okay so let's see that practically for that we have one command here, like a C programs, Google, uh, Chrome application and Chrome exe. So here, if when I go to this, my laptop on the C program, when I go to the um, program files and uh, when I click on this Google, here is the Chrome and here's the application and here's the Chrome exe, which is the latest 126 Chrome version, which is very latest version, uh, which is currently as per the your version, you can take that, but we need to uh, like define the path till this chrome exe so here we have one chrome exe right after that we need to uh, type a space and double slash remote debugging and we require to define a port like nine uh, dash port is equal to nine triple two after that one space and double two user uh, space uh, user dash data and uh, then again hyphen and dir directory is equal to c uh, in uh, like inverted comma like c colon slash chrome profile and inverted comma complete starting inverted comma this is the command okay so that we can use one uh, we can start one chrome browser on this existing port right let's say i'll copy this one and uh, into cmd i'll just enter this command here we go we have one plain chrome open on this particular port number port number okay so whatever I will do in this port right now, which will be directly uh, when I run the Selenium script, it will directly execute on this particular browser, right? So we have to define some code for that. And we have to assign our Selenium script on for this port browser, which is already open. So how to do that? So let's create a one class here, okay? Using Chrome options only. Okay, I'll create one script. let's say real browser okay and uh, in this uh, script i'll define like a main method inside that main method let's say type web driver say driver is equal to new let's say chrome driver okay and uh, if i open this program okay driver dot let's say gate and inside that uh, if i type like that uh, https colon double slash www dot bahu automation lab dot in okay so i have typed this command okay uh, we have missed here semicolon okay when i run this program it will launch a new window 
okay right hand it, it will launch about automation lab dot in in our existing uh, it, it's not launch and launch our uh, script in the existing browser right so how to assign this port of this uh, which is we have run through this command prompt this browser through this command prompt how to assign that port particular port to that uh, this per, uh, to this browser which is already open right so we have to write some code for that okay so how to do that so here simply define a chrome option again which is we have already seen chrome options okay and we can create like uh, options is equal to new let's say again chrome options okay and here let's set set up options dot okay and we can set uh experimental option okay Ex uh, experimental option in that experimental option let's type debug debugger address okay and then comma in this option we can say it let's do same comma 127 dot zero dot zero dot one colon which is port we have already open is like nine triple two okay which is we have set in command nine triple two we have set this set this port here right and uh, assign this chrome option to our script right we have to add some like a uh, weight here so i'll just add driver dot manage dot timeouts dot implicit weight and here we have like a duration dot of seconds let's say 20 seconds okay now if i run this program this is the only one window is open right there is no any other the browser is open if i run this program it should be uh, open this url in this our existing browser only it should not open new browser okay so I'll just open uh, run this program and here we go we have about automation lab.com open okay so now if I log in in this okay so for, for example I need to click on this login and everything and again and again so what I uh, what I can do I'll uh, log in here with my uh, login ID and password okay and I just want to click on this my account link okay directly on my account link so uh, if I type like a driver dot find element by dot link text let's say and here is the link text of our my account we'll see this and we'll just paste it here my account dot click okay and let's see whether we are able to open this window again in browser and uh, we are able to click on this my account or not okay so open it's refreshed and it's clicked on my account here we go perfect so again i want to click on this selenium practice let's say so i'll just copy this code again and uh, let's paste it here and just type here neom again this is the link test so let's see whether we are able to click on this uh, selenium practice uh, my account and then selenium practice or Okay, I've run this refreshed. Let's click on the my account. Oh, I we have made some mistake here in the spelling. Let's see. Okay, it will stop. Let's run it again. We have existing session, so need to no need to log in again again. So we can run multiple times. Yes, we have, have click on this Selenium practice page. Now we can come here to practice. Right. So in this way, we can create a multiple. Uh, we can add this uh, like a start maximizing option also here. Huh? Options dot add. Okay. So run this program again. It's a refresh. Oh, it's it's running in the same program so, so it will you, you have to avoid this and uh, like use 
driver dot manage dot window dot maximize it's maximize and click on the cylinder practice space perfect so this is how we can work with the uh, already open browser and existing session existing login session in the selenium so very interesting concept guys practice by yourself i will give this all this command in comment box uh, in the description box if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe bhav automation lab and share with your friends this channel so that all the your friends can learn all these types of concepts practically and new uh, new concepts also okay so let's meet in next chapter with more interesting concept till time have a great day bye bye take care